He's actually so pissed he's puking in the bathroom. He's puking in the bathroom? What? Wait, is it because... That's like, puking? Is it big? He's throwing up. He's like His blood pressure is really high right now. So this guy, John, is homophobic and lives next to a gay liquor store owner named Aaron. Aaron's car happened to break down in front of John's house, so he had to keep it in John's driveway for two days. John's divorced, so he was worried about people in the neighborhood potentially thinking that he and Aaron were hooking up. I'm calling John as Aaron's boyfriend to accuse him of trying to steal my man. <laughs> Get ready for this. It's crazy. Hello? Yeah, hi. Is this John in the blue house? Who's this? Uh, it's Chris. Chris? Yeah. Chris who? Can you do me a favor and just come clean to me and tell me what happened between you and Aaron? Who, who are you looking for? Look, I told who you. Who is Aaron? I saw his car parked in front of your house for two days. Oh, 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 Aaron, oh. You I know exactly sure. who I'm talking about. No, no, I, no, I had no idea. I, I didn't recognize the name. <sighs> who, My, who is this? This is Chris, his, his partner. Uh, I mean, the clutch blew or something. Don't play dumb fact. with me. Just come clean, please. I am telling you, his clutch blew. Look, he broke down in front of my house at 11 o'clock at night. Excuses, excuses. I know everything. Oh my God, listen, I don't even know you, lady, but I swear, go check the list. Lady? The garage is the one who told him. What do you mean, lady? The garage is the one who told him. Look, I heard about what happened with your wife and how you recently came out of the closet. Listen, and now but listen, I don't even know who you are, but check the garage. They told him. Aaron's my man, okay? I get that you're, like, experimenting and, like, figuring out your sexuality. Oh, my God! You're sick, lady! The you're sick! L lady! Holy shit, you are sick! <laughs> you are sick! What? Listen, John, Listen. please. Please, just stay away Listen. from my man! Oh, my God! I don't want your man! I don't want anybody! Hit check garage on Main Street, please! Tell me this. You recently divorced your wife, right or wrong? Yes, my God, but oh my God, I, I wouldn't even think about another guy. Are you all, nuts? all of a sudden, Are Aaron's car Aaron's car's in your driveway for two days. It's not there no more. It was towed. I know exactly. Right, that's please. All, lady. I don't know. You're sick. You keep You're calling me lady. Sick. Do I sound like a lady? <laughs> Oh, my God. That guy is amazing. Oh, my God. And the fact that he kept on saying lady over and over and over again was killing me. John's daughter, Tara, requested this prank. So I called her up to get her involved and in on it. Hello? Hey, Tara, what's up? It's Russell. Hi, it's so nice to talk to you. Well, I'm likewise, it's very nice to talk to you as well. I have to give you an update. Your dad has the funniest reaction so far. It is so, so funny. Are you next to him by any chance? Like, are you like in a totally different area? Or... No. No, I'm at my friend's right now. <laughs> okay, and he didn't oh happen to like say anything to you, right? No, no, he didn't. Okay, so like, I called the first time he didn't pick up. Then I called him again and I was like, hello, is this John in the blue house? I called him as Chris. Leave a comment below with your favorite part so far. For me personally, it's him saying, listen, lady, over and over again. P.S. If you're new to the channel, subscribe with notifications right now so you don't ever miss any future craziness like this. What do you think oh potentially? Like, accusing him of potentially being gay? Oh my god. Like, you were so right. It's like his worst nightmare. He hasn't said anything homophobic, has he? He keeps calling me lady. I'm like, what do you mean lady? And he keeps like, I don't know what you're talking about, lady. Oh my god. Now I call back John again, using the caller ID from the same automotive shop he claims Aaron's car was at. Hello? Look, I just came to Sh Automotive and they said that Aaron's car was never here. Listen, that's the, that's the one I know that towed the car. All right? Look, John, you gotta, please. You gotta go see again. Listen, lady, please. first of all, I ain't a faggot, all right? Whoa. I don't even experiment with being a faggot, okay? Well, his car I'm, in your driveway says children. otherwise. What's that? His car in your driveway for two days says otherwise, you see. Listen, just... lady, you banana! <laughs> down! Look, look. What do you want me to say? Daddy's sucking my dick, is that what you want me to say? Just come clean, that's right. Give me a break. Just say I, it. Lady, I'm coming clean. I ain't got time to argue look, with you. I smelled his dick and it smelled like another man. He hello? Something's going on, can I smell your dick? <laughs> okay. This guy and the way he keeps saying, listen, lady, he's losing his shit. Do y'all think I called back again? Of course I did. And his daughter was on the line and muted too. Hello? Hello? Is this John? This is his son. 
Where's John? I was just knocking on the door and I heard the TV on. What do you want? Listen. What the fuck do you want, look, lady? I, look, I'm not a lady, okay? I came to the liquor store. Aaron's not there. Was he at your house? No, he's not at my house. I came and knocked on the door and the TV was on. I don't know what you guys were doing in there and you wouldn't open the door. Hey, wait, first of all, I don't need to open my door for anybody I don't want to open my door for. What are you doing in there with Aaron then? What are you doing with him? I, Aaron's not up here, you... Listen, you motherfucker, I'm going to grab you by your fucking throat. If you're not a lady, I'm going to fucking ring it. How's yeah, that sound? I, I bet you'd rather grab me by the balls, wouldn't you? Yeah, if you had any. If you had any. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, listen, how about you meet me outside and we can handle this one-on-one -on -one then? Oh, you little motherfucker, boy. Come on, I, I, you, you better stay away from my man and I mean it or there's going to be trouble. New stay away from my man prank is live in my app right now and it's the free prank of the week. I had my girlfriend record a stay away from my man script to send to all your female friends and family. It works amazingly, even on guys. And it's going to be one of the most popular scripts in the app. So go send it out absolutely free while there's still time. Stink, sick son of a bitch. I am not a faggot, okay? I don't want your man. I get plenty of girls. I don't need a, f a man, you fucking sick son of a bitch. I don't need a man. I am not a cocksucker, all right? Listen, okay, I get it. People like experimenting. Things happen sometimes, but enough is enough. What do you want me to say? I'm fucking your guy? Is that what you want me to well, say? Finally, the truth comes out. You could have just said that three calls ago. That's why I'm not, you idiot. I am not a faggot, okay? I get plenty of girl pussy, real pussy. Where can we handle right? this like men? One on one. Oh, you son of a bitch. There is nothing going on between me and Aaron. I am not a homosexual. I am not a bisexual. I am heterosexual 190,000%, okay? Did you fuck him or did you not? Because, like, your story keeps changing. No, I do not have anything to do with men, okay? At all. At all. None. None to do with men whatsoever. He blew his clutch on his truck. I, on my kid's eyes. On my kid's life. I, wait, wait, ho hold on. Did you just say he blew his load on your chest? His, his clutch on his truck. Oh. The clutch <laughs> thing that makes it go frontwards and backwards. Okay, so not his load, his clutch. Oh, my Thank God. God. You, you, know, you're, Thank, you're you, you, you scared me for a second. You, you, I was scared. I got kids here, all right? You were just screaming. I don't need you to you, speak in this language, listen, all right? Did, did you just hear listen. yourself 30 seconds ago, the things you were saying to me? Like, how are you going to tell me? I, I, okay, continue. I'm telling you right now. I am 100% female male. I like women with, with tits and a pussy. But sh okay. Sh you have kids over there. Stop. They're inside now. Now I'm in another room. Oh, okay, cool. Well, my next plan was to go to Tara's house and just see what's going on and ask her and see what the deal is. Because like, I see her at the liquor store all the time. And I just couldn't believe, like, you know, her dad would do Turns something. Out, that's my... Tara will confirm it then. You want her number? Why, well, I already have her number. And Hi, Dad. Oh, Hi, Dad. My daughter, shit, I would have told you to call a long time ago. Well, I, th I think she's on the line right now. Who is this? Hello. What's going on here? <laughs> Hi, Dad. Um, Who is I this? just... It's Tara. Listen, look, yeah. John, I gotta tell you something, okay? What? Like, your daughter, Tara, just... She did something really bad. What? I'm sorry, Dad. She set you up for this prank. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. Who is this? My name is Russell. I'm a voice actor. I was actually the one calling you as, like, the really very extravagant man just now like what are you doing that was me but this entire <laughs> this entire thing is just a prank i have no actual association with aaron or his boyfriend i did just get some information about how his car was parked on your driveway and that's kind of where this whole premise started dad remember when i uh prank called you with that recording thing that was like oh you hit my car you hit my car yeah that, that was him <laughs> that's my automatic prank calling application yeah <laughs> john are you still there dad? <laughs> Dad? <laughs> he's your dad best. Oh my Oh my god, he hung up? <laughs> no no no, he's still he's still connected. I just I think he might have his phone's muted or something. Oh my brother just messaged me and said dad's mad at me. I feel so bad. I don't want him to be mad at me. I thought he would understand. Oh my god. Yeah, no, he'll he'll get over it.
No, let, me, let me call him back one more time because I want to just apologize and make sure he's okay. Hello? Hey, uh, this is Russell. I was hoping to talk to John. Is John there? Your dad? He's actually so pissed he's puking in the bathroom. He's puking in the bathroom? What? Wait, is it because Dad's like puking? Is it be wait, is it because he's like so put off by like the potential like the gay accusations? Or? Yeah, I think. He, oh my god. Yeah, I think he's just like the thought of like him with men. Maybe I don't know. Is he still in the bathroom actively like retching up like things or what's the status right now? He's throwing up. He's. Like his blood pressure is really high right now. Got you. Oh my god. Well, my apologies yeah. for getting him worked yeah. up t super high. I wanna, oh, I'm so I'm, sorry. I wanna like, what can I do to make make it a little better? Let me talk to my dad, and then I'll text Tara and tell him if he's wanting to talk or not. Okay. All right. Perfect. Well, thanks, man. After anxiously waiting an hour later, Tara went over to check on her dad and told me to call back. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How's John doing? How's the fam? Um, we are doing well. Uh, hold on, Dad. Do you wanna you wanna talk to him? Hold on. Here's my okay. dad. <laughs> Going on. Hello, John. You're the man of the hour. And honestly, I felt so guilty when I heard about like how upset and like bothered you were by that afterwards. <laughs> Well, call me a homewrecker. That that got to me. I, I honestly, I didn't know honestly that that was gonna be like a, a sore spot at all whatsoever. I literally was just trying to get a funny reaction out of you to have like a funny memory with uh, with your daughter. But again, like totally no like long lasting ill intentions. I know I pushed the boundaries a little bit and said some like outlandish things. But honestly, you were like hysterical, and, and I hope you're feeling a little better now, and and hopefully had a chance to kind of have some time to yourself and, and cool down a bit. But do you uh, do you forgive me or do you kind of hate me still? Either is acceptable. No, no, you're all right. You're all right. <laughs> okay, perfect. Oh, you're good at what you do. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. What a roller coaster of a prank. But luckily, it had a happy ending. Don't forget to send out the new and free Stay Away From My Man prank in my app right now. It's getting some amazing reactions. You're going to love it. If you appreciate the longer content, please drop a like on this video, and I'll see you subscribers again next week.